When a person dies and goes into eternal peace, many choose to bury their loved ones. Each of us at some point thinks about what happens to the body of the deceased, how long it lasts, what changes happen to it over ten years, what physical and spiritual transformations occur. I will tell you in detail about all these interesting moments and invite you to subscribe to my channel and like it. Death is an inevitable reality for each of us. Seeing off a loved one on their last journey is an important and profound ritual that varies depending on the culture and religion. The first thing that needs to be done is to prepare the body for burial. This includes washing, dressing in special clothes and, in some traditions, applying aromatic substances. In the modern world, this preparation is carried out by specialized services. This stage of farewell helps both the deceased and the living to accept the loss and to express respect. After all the required rituals are performed, the body is usually buried in the ground. Most often a coffin is used, which can be made of different materials, from wood to more durable and long-lasting options with metal elements. For many religions, proper burial is considered sacred. It is intended to ensure peace and well-being of the soul in the afterlife. The transition to another world is inevitable for everyone. But how long can a body be preserved in a coffin? The preservation of a body in a coffin depends on many factors. The burial conditions, the material from which the coffin is made, and the weather conditions at the burial site all play an important role. Under optimal circumstances, when the body is placed in a quality coffin and buried deep enough, it can be preserved for five to ten years. However, over time, decomposition processes become more noticeable. It is impossible to determine exactly how long the body will remain preserved, but practical experience shows that the most active changes occur in the first years after burial. Usually after one or two years, only individual areas of soft tissue remain, while the skin and internal organs begin to deteriorate. And what happens to the body after ten years in the coffin? Over the next ten years, the body continues to gradually decompose, going through different stages. Various changes associated with the decomposition process occur annually. During the first year after death, tissue destruction occurs most intensively. Soft tissues begin to disintegrate under the influence of microorganisms that live in the body. The process of autolysis begins in which certain enzymes and bacteria destroy the body's cells. As a result, rotting gases are produced, causing a characteristic odor. By the end of the second year, most of the soft tissue has already decomposed. The body loses most of its mass and begins to dry out. Many internal organs gradually disappear under the influence of these processes. The organs lose their identifying features and become something indefinite as putrefactive bacteria continue their activity, creating a saturated environment inside the coffin. By the third year, the decomposition processes have deepened considerably. Approximately 90% of the body may be destroyed. Only small areas of skin remain. Clothing is preserved only if it is not completely disintegrated. By this time, mostly teeth are preserved, but many bones begin to decompose under the influence of the soil. From the fourth to the fifth year, the process of complete decomposition continues, and by the end of the fifth year, the transformation of the body into dust proceeds much more rapidly. If the coffin is not tight enough closed and exposed to the external environment, decomposition occurs more quickly. At this stage, the limbs become weak, the joints begin to deteriorate. By the sixth or seventh year, 
very little remains of the body. If the coffin material is of high quality, this slows down the decomposition process, so only bones and teeth are preserved. During this period, putrefactive bacteria destroy the remaining tissues, and over time, even strong structures disappear. In the 8th and ninth years, the remains of the muscles and skin gradually disappear, which is why the body is no longer preserved. Teeth and individual bones may still remain, but they become fragile. As the years go by, the body completely turns into a skeleton, which remains inside the coffin. By the tenth year after burial, there is no longer even a hint of a complete body left in the coffin. During this time, it completely decomposes to the state of bones and hair. Hair is preserved longer, as it is less susceptible to decomposition than other parts of the body. Bones can lie much longer, which depends on the impact of external factors. They can either remain intact or be destroyed under the influence of the environment. The process of decomposition is a natural part of the life cycle. It should be noted that final decomposition occurs in the range of 10 to 15 years. Only the skeleton, teeth, hair and bones remain in the coffin. Under the influence of constant humidity and temperature fluctuations, bones become fragile and can shift into different positions. Decomposition of the body is not only a physical, but also a spiritual process, reflecting the natural cycle of life and death. One of the most intriguing questions is, what happens if you open a coffin ten years after burial? The answer to this question can be both scientific and philosophical, since it covers not only the physical aspects of decomposition, but also deep reflections on life, death, and the afterlife. However, a counter-question arises. Why open a coffin without a good reason? Shouldn't this be done only in the case of mandatory exhumation of remains? If we talk about what exactly can be seen after ten years, then only the skeleton of the body will remain. During the process of decomposition, the body tissues are destroyed by bacteria and fungi, leaving only a skeleton with calcified remains. It should be taken into account that under certain conditions, such as a special burial environment, the use of special packaging or preservatives, the body can be preserved in a much better condition. Is it possible that the deceased will not decompose in the coffin? In different cultures, there are legends about the incorruptibility of the bodies of saints or outstanding personalities. Such bodies retain their integrity even after many decades and sometimes centuries. In the Catholic tradition, cases of preserving the bodies of canonized saints are not uncommon and are perceived as a sign of their holiness. It is difficult to explain such phenomena scientifically and most often scientists associate this with unique burial conditions or climatic factors. Although the facts of preserving bodies raise many questions, science cannot yet give definitive answers. One of the modern examples is mummification, which allows the body to be preserved for a long time. But such a case is rather an exception to the rule. In most cases, after 10 years, the remains become part of the ecosystem, evolving into new life forms. Scientific understanding helps assess the physical condition of the body. But this is only one side of the story. An esoteric and religious perspective allows one to look into deeper reflections on life, death, and how they are connected. Only each of us is allowed to comprehend this process through the prism of our own experience and understanding. After all, the understanding of such phenomena is unique to each person. And this is what gives meaning to our existence. Musical accompaniment helps to immerse oneself in the atmosphere and feel the full depth of these reflections.